He has a beard and he has a mustache. He looks like dressed up in white. He is very bright. He is Heavenly Father's son. Jesus is a brother. He'd sacrifice a lot. Like tells us to care about other people. He'd like warn people about stuff like and make sure they're all safe because he cares about each one of us. Candle of faith, candle of faith, candle of faith is Let you and Jesus, we are your children, we are your children Make every steps with you, and faith with hope and love We learn, we believe, we witness in Jesus Hello, dear students. Welcome to the sixth lesson of our catechism classes. Let us begin with the sign of the cross in English. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Malayalam, Vishuddha Kudishinde, Adayala Kal, Nyangalude Shatrikale Ninnan, Nyangale Erikshikiname, Nyangale Rathambirani, Pitavandin Putrandin, Pashtanvandin Namatil. Amen. Today we are going to talk about how Jesus prayed to God the Almighty Father while he went through many difficulties in his life on earth. Just like that, Jesus also wants us to do the same. Did you know that during his life on earth, Jesus prayed to God the Father for wisdom and to help him in those difficult times on earth? What is the importance of prayer? Well, ask yourself some questions about prayer. Why is it important to pray? What is the reason why we pray? When should we pray? With whom should we pray? Should we only pray when we need something in our lives? How should we pray properly to show respect to God? Can you answer these questions? Well, it is important to pray to strengthen our faith in God. Prayer gives us gifts like strength, wisdom, courage, and good judgment to live holy lives, just as God would want us to. Let us follow the example of Jesus as he prayed to God the Father. Jesus also taught his disciples to pray with great faith, to pray humbly, to pray for forgiveness, and to pray in times of need, as well as to give thanks to God. Now, let us watch a short video about how Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Stories of the Bible. Jesus prays. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate and Jesus and his disciples were having the Passover meal together. Jesus told them many things of what was to come and the trials they would face. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed for himself, saying, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Then Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you and they believe you sent me. He prayed for his disciples who would be staying in the world after Jesus went to heaven. He asked God to keep them safe from the evil one and to make them holy. Then Jesus prayed for all the people who would come to believe in God because of the message that the disciples would tell. 
He prayed for people of all time, even to this day. He prayed that followers of Jesus would be united so that the world would believe that God sent Jesus to die for their sins so that everyone could be with God forever. I hope you all enjoyed watching that video and that you learned some new things. When can we pray? Well, we can pray in all situations in our lives. We can pray in the morning to thank God for another day and to bless us in our daily activities. We can pray before we eat to thank God for the food that he has provided for us. We can pray at night before we go to sleep and ask God to protect us from all dangers and to keep us safe in his loving care. Who can we pray for? Jesus taught us that we can pray for our families, friends, teachers, priests and nuns, classmates, and even those who have hurt us. We can also pray for those who are sick or suffering. Everyone needs prayer. Who can we pray with? We can pray with our families, with our friends, and even when we are alone. Some of you may have family prayer at home. Praying as a family is a way of asking God to protect our families and to strengthen the bond that we have with them. Why do we pray? Well, we can pray to God to praise Him and to thank Him. We can also pray to repent for our sins and to ask God for forgiveness. We can pray to God to ask him for something that we need. Another reason to pray is to yield to God or to submit ourselves to God's plan for our lives. And as you can see, those four words and the reasons why we pray help to spell out the word pray. How should you pray? When you pray, close your eyes, fold your hands together, and pray with all your heart and with great faith. Do not get distracted by your surroundings, but stay focused on your prayer intentions and speak to God honestly. Now, can you all think of some things in your lives that you are thankful for? Think of at least three things. Let us say a prayer of gratitude to God, to thank him for the blessings that he has given us. This is the first prayer. Thank you, God, for the world so sweet. Thank you, God, for the food we eat. Thank you, God, for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. This is the second prayer. Father, we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the day so fair. Help us to do the things we should, to be to others kind and good. In all we do, in work or play, to grow more loving every day. Amen. Now, some things to remember from this class. Remember that we must give prayer importance even on days when we may be busy or tired. God is always there to listen to our prayers and to answer our petitions to him. Remember that he's always there to listen to your joys, sorrows, worries, and needs. And let us always pray just as Jesus taught us. Let us finish with a prayer that Jesus taught us, which is the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us conclude with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.